Hello and welcome to Negative Feedback. Today I'm going to be shooting three of the cheaper films available and I'm trying to find out which one is the best and which one you should buy. Three films I'm going to be shooting today are Kodak Color Plus, Agfa Vista and Fuji Superior Extra 400. So we're going to be shooting on three different cameras and three different bodies but all using the same lens so there's no difference between the images. So the cameras we're going to be using are a Leica M3 with a 50mm Summicron, a Leica MP uh, with the option of 35 Summicron and a Leica M7. So I've got my girlfriend Bailey here uh, who I'm going to be taking pictures of on this lovely backdrop here as the subject of the video. Initially, I was saying how the M3 is definitely my favourite, but I actually think the viewfinder is easier to look through on the M6 just because it's wider. This one's 0.72 magnification, and I think the M3 must be, I don't know what it is, a lot narrower. So we've taken some pictures on the white backdrop, just so that we can kind of see the film's interpretation of the most basic stuff. But I'm not really feeling it as a cool factor, so we're going to try out a nice coloured backdrop instead now. For this image, I'm turning Bailey slightly more towards the light, um, just so there's different coverage through the natural lighting outside. We're not using any studio lights today on the backdrop, just playing around with what we've got. Switching over to the M7 now, so this is Kodak Color Plus. I've also switched over to the 35mm, and just because I've seen a shot that I want to create. I've never felt a lens that feels so good. It's just like the most satisfying clicks on the apertures. It is amazing. Finished up on the Kodak Color Press. Color Finished up on the Kodak Color Plus. Gonna wind it in now, which is slightly different to the MP because you have a lovely speedy thing. So you just flick to R and in you go. I just took a light meter read light <laughs> light meter reading from my phone. As the M3 doesn't have a meter built in because it's very old. to check between each shot makes it me feel like I could just reel it off. So I've finished up the film now, I'm going to go take it to the lab and then I'll let you know what I think of the pictures. So I've just got the film back from the lab and I think actually in the end they all turned out a lot better than I thought they would. Um, 
really quite interesting to see, even though Agfa is classic Poundland film, as people say, that you could actually get quite good results with it. Um, I think the obvious favourite for me is Colour Plus. I just think it's got the best um, like natural look. The skin tones are really nice. It's not too far off portrait, but it's got like that little bit of difference. But it's not a bad difference necessarily. The Agfa is it's like it's nice. It doesn't hold up in the shadows as well. Um, doesn't look quite as professional grade, if that makes sense. Like it looks a bit cheaper. It doesn't look like it holds all the detail. It's slightly pink. It's not too pink though to worry about it. And superior, even though it's, I guess it's 400, which is the big difference. Um, but I like it quite a lot. Um, it does go quite green in the shadows if it's not exposed correctly. Um, and it is quite grainy for 400, but what can you expect when you pay like two pounds per roll? The obvious winner is Color Plus for me. Um, it's just for two pounds a roll, I think. It doesn't get much better than that. With probably Agfa's close second, which if you're in England and you can get it at Poundland, I wouldn't advocate getting it over a pro like pro grade film, but it's not quite as bad as some people make it out to be. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, new video next week, I guess. <laughs>